Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Celine here. Today I'm going to be doing a video on my skincare routine for my face. And I've been getting a lot of requests to do this type of video for a long time. I don't think I've ever done this video on my channel before, which is hard to say because I've done a lot of different videos. I think I have over 180 if I'm not mistaken, which is a lot for um, two to three years. So anyway, today I'm going to show you guys what I use on my skin for creams, cleansers, face masks, etc. So if you are ready, let's go. Before we get into the products, by the way, sorry, I'm like cutting off the video. Um, I haven't been wearing makeup um, really all year long so far, except maybe like January. And then February, I kind of just stopped wearing makeup altogether because I feel more comfortable without it. And I just... It takes up a lot of time in the mornings, and I just don't really feel like wearing it anymore. So um, that does play a part in my skincare routine. So just so you know, it's not like I've been wearing like foundation, concealer, or eyeshadow. Like I'm not wearing any makeup in this video except for face cream, which I don't consider to be makeup. It's just skincare. Anyway, so just so you guys know, it's not like I'm using all these products and then putting on foundation, like a heavy coat of foundation and concealer and eyeshadow and whatnot on my face. Um, and again, I do feel like that plays a huge part because once I stopped wearing makeup, my skin definitely cleared up a bunch um, more than it has ever been since I, before I hit puberty really, so this is the clearest my skin has ever been. Um, and I, obviously it's not like 100% like no blemishes, no acne, no redness, like of course I have those things still, but it's definitely been a lot better since I stopped wearing makeup and have been paying more attention to my skin. So first off, I'm going to show you guys a cleanser that I've recently been using, so it's not been in my skincare routine for a very long time. Me too. It's like when I when I use this cleanser, it's like when you if you've ever had spearmint gum or like mint flavored gum, and then you just drink a cold glass of iced water right after, you feel like a new person, like you feel like so refreshed and invigorated. And so this is what it feels like, except on my skin. So this is the Biore Deep Pore Charcoal Cleanser and it has natural charcoal in it and I've never heard of using charcoal as like a skin treatment. I mean I've heard of face masks, I mean I use some face masks from time to time but I've never heard of charcoal and I was just kind of like scared and skeptical and I read the labels on the back, I did a little research on it and it turns out it's not going to harm you at all, um, at least if it's made from a company. If you if you straight up use charcoal and just like rub it on your face, I'm sure that it's not gonna do you any good. But this has been really, really helping my skin. Like after I apply it, I really feel so refreshed and I need to like cool off for a second. So in the video, you guys see me like waving my hands at my face. It comes off black, if you guys can see that. So it was a little intimidating at first, like squirting black stuff and then putting it on my face. Like I felt like I was putting dirt or like maybe, um, I, I don't really know, but it was a weird color, but I mean, it, it makes my skin look clearer and I feel refreshed, so good stuff. Next is a facial mask. This is from Lush. I really love Lush. I've never tried any of their skincare products, but I saw my mom checking it out and I'm like, she's like, do you think we should buy this? And I'm like, yes, 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 let's try it out. I want to try it out. Because like, I've always liked like the hand soaps, but I've been always like too... I don't know. I didn't know how it would work out because they use like natural products and I was wondering how it was going to affect my skin. Anyways, this is the, called the Mask of Magnamity Face and Body Mask and it's packed full of peppermint and also other things that it's saying, but I'm only saying peppermint because it smells so good. It smells like peppermint candy canes um, and during like the Christmas time and it looks a little funky because it's a weird green color, but you really get past that pretty quickly and I think it just looks kind of cool. It's like a typical like teenage girl putting on like the green masks like in those American movies. Do you know what I'm talking about? I feel like that like when I wear this like painting my toenails, having a like, girls night, but really in reality I'm just putting this on, taking it off, going to bed. But yeah, no, I usually use this once to twice a week. It's I don't really use it that often, but when I do, um, I do enjoy it. So I leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. It's really not that long because I also I just don't like having things on my face. Next up is the Shiseido, Shiseido, I have no idea how to say the company's name, but it's the White Lucent or White Luckins Brightening Balancing Softener Enriched with Lotion Equivalent. Yes, I for a second I thought I was using French, but it was not. It's it's English. Um, this is a toner. I don't really use this that often either, but when I do, um, I use it maybe once every two weeks, if I'm being honest. Like, I don't use it all the time, but if I were to use all these products I'm showing you today, like, I definitely would do all of them in a row. Um, and this just basically, I just apply it to where I have redness and blemishes and acne. I don't really like to apply it all over my skin. And I just put a little bit on a cotton pad, just like dab it gently onto my skin and then throw it away when I'm done and then follow with my lotion. So that's what I like to use from time to time. 
also with cleanser and also just washing your face um, I was watching this video I think it was called acne.org I'm not sure but I would definitely recommend you guys to go watch it. I'll try to find a link if I can and link it down below but basically in the video it was like showing you how doing these things while cleaning your face like in addition to like the products that you're using how much of a different it has like especially in terms of making your face really red like when I used to wash my face I used to like just like rub my hands on my face and like pretty hard like without even realizing it and also with the towel too I used to like press the towel against my face and like really rub at my skin and like I'm making it sound really harsh but like in the reality like we all I'm pretty sure like most of you guys when you wash your face and dry your hands like you tend to like rub the towel really heavily onto your skin and so you get all the water off faster but what you don't realize is by like putting the towel like really heavily on your face and like really rubbing at your face first of all your face is getting really red second of all you're tugging at your skin and your skin is pretty fragile especially your skin area like on your eyes so it's really important to just kind of keep your hands away from your face not just like sitting like this biting your nails whatever it may be having your phone close to your face um that i feel like that's a big one especially like i try to when i talk on the phone i try to kind of talk like this and it's like the same effect i just don't want to press it against my face because you touch your phone every single day think about how many germs and bacteria your phone has i mean not to gross anyone out but the last thing you would want to do is just pressing up against your face so just a side note but anyways when washing your face try to just let the water do its job like just like have your hands full of water and like put your face up to it but don't try to rub your skin and i feel like that is just a really big improvement the video explains it also i'll link it down below again but that has been a huge um way that i've been kind of changing up my skin care routine um i found this essay lauder um two skin creams one is called daywear and one is called resilience life lift nights and I use the day wear for the morning and like midday and then I use this for night sometimes I tend to use this a lot more like I have a lot more products um, in here than I do here and um, basically this also has SPF so it's really good um, for the summer days when in addition to wearing sunscreen of course I'm not saying just use your facial moisturizer as sunscreen that's not that's not the best thing to do I would say but yeah I don't really have much left but I feel like this just does a good job I don't really have anything too crazy to say again I've just been using whatever I've had around the house I didn't like go out and buy like a certain kind of moisturizer just because I ran out if I had some at home and the, what I wanted to talk about with the night one is that it says it's a firming sculpting face and neck cream i didn't understand what that really was it just was like eh, whatever and i put it on my face and i was going to bed i felt like my face tighten up and really like form and sculpture like the way that this was saying so it's not like um i feel like this is something more for old people but i still use it all or no rules here directions that said don't use it if you're a teen i still use it i have not seen anything wrong with my skin because of these things um but yeah i just like to use them Anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to follow me on all my social media, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, everything's linked down below. And make sure to subscribe to my Turkish channel or at least watch some of my videos, even if you're not Turkish, if you might find it interesting to find me talking in a different language to a camera. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you later. Bye everyone.